Let's get started. You're probably wondering why there is quite a lot of companies joining this webinar today. And it is a very simple reason. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a story about a story of collaboration that led to a very, very efficient HR process at EasyJet Switzerland. So the first speaker I'd like to introduce you today um, is Sarah Jackson, the country HR and administration manager from EasyJet Switzerland. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Johannes, and good afternoon to everybody. So as Johannes said, I'm Sarah Jackson. I'm the country HR manager for EasyJet in Switzerland, and I also look after Austria. So I'm quite a busy lady. Um, and I have been in the aviation industry now since 1995. So the, you'll see a little bit later on in the webinar, we're going to um, show to you how we managed a very, very difficult situation during the pandemic. So welcome everybody. Hi Sarah again. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I think you're in from Geneva today, is that correct? I am Johannes, I'm sat uh, in our offices in Geneva. So apology, apologies if you hear any noise, it's the aircraft taking off and landing because the runway is literally 100 meters in front of me. So apologies for any background noise. Uh, I, I, I think it's always quite a, a, a good feeling when you see the planes leaving and it's kind of a, a vacation feeling for me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope for you too still. <laughs> um, Okay, so uh, as I said, the, the first one, of course, is um, the whole project was um, done with Sarah at EasyJet, so the requirements came from them. Um, the first solution in this project that got introduced um, is a long-term relation between EasyJet and Scribble, which is the digital signature part. And for that, I'm very, very happy to welcome Katina Streamer, the senior account, account executive at Scribble. Hi, Katina. Hi, Johannes. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. We are glad that we have uh, Sarah from EasyJet Switzerland on board. Uh, she's a great supporter of Scribble. Yeah, welcome to everyone. I am Katina, account executive at Scribble. We are a Swiss company and the leading provider of uh, signature solution in Europe. I assist large uh, enterprises with the transition from pen and paper to electronic signature. I'm based in Zurich and I focus on sales in the Swiss market. So we, we've gone a little east to Zurich, taking up the next plane. <laughs> um, so again, hi Katina. Thank you for also being part of, the, of, of today's webinar. I'm going a little more to the east. Um, so happy to introduce myself. I'm Johannes Linder. I'm the lead technical evangelist at Docs42. We are based in Vienna. And in terms of this whole project, our part was the document generation. So Docs42 is a software product for document automation and also for data integration. And as you will see later on, if there is a challenge of a lot of contracts that have to be generated at once, Docs42 is the right thing for you. Um, we will also show some other use cases, but that's more towards the end of, of, the, of today's webinar. So far we have um, the requirements we got from, from Sarah, and then Katina with Scribble was part of the solution, then Docs42 was part of the document generation. There was one major missing link to put all of the worlds together. And for this, I'm very, very happy to also introduce to you Louis-Marie Richard. And I think we're again going a little bit more into the West. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it is Lausanne, right, Louis? Right. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Rima Richard. I'm a freelancer uh, and a Docs42 expert for three years, and especially uh, specialized in the development of custom uh, components to <clears throat> improve the capabilities of the Docs42 server. And a very integral part of today's project. Hi, Louis, again, um, and thank you being, for being part of it. The way we will approach this within the next 30 to 40 minutes um, is we are going to look into the requirements um, and also the issues. Sarah is going to introduce them to you. Then we'll have a look into the software uh, Legos of Scribble and also then Docs42. And at the end, we are very happy to also see a live demo of the collaboration and the way it worked with Louis-Marie. 
So the first thing that I'd last ask to you, Sarah, is um, could you give us some insights into the issues, problems, and also the requirements um, that you had when you started this entire project? Absolutely. Thank you, Johannes. So um, just to give everybody a little bit of background, um, EasyJet Switzerland has been a client of Scribble since 2019. So I think that we were, in fact, one of their first customers. And as Katina said, we are a big fan of Scribble. Um, we currently use Scribble's electronic signature to sign contracts, to sign documents. And it's a fantastic tool because it allows us to have contracts and documents signed from anywhere at any time. Obviously in the aviation industry, um, our people are all over the place, um, working different times, different shifts. So having this agile and uh, very flexible tool um, with, the, with Scribble's electronic signature is obviously a huge benefit for us. So to come on to the scenario, um, I don't think that I need to tell you that the aviation industry has just gone through probably the biggest crises in the history of aviation. Um, I'm sure that everybody on this call has had challenging times over the past few years, and I sincerely hope that you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. So from March 2020, airlines around the world started to ground their aircraft due to the COVID pandemic um, and also due to the restrictions that were put on travel um, across the world. In Switzerland, we were very, very lucky to be able to apply for what is called in Switzerland the reduced working time scheme. So for the British people or the, the um, American people amongst you, this is known as the, the furlough scheme. For German speakers, it's Kurzarbeit, and for the French speakers, it's Chômage Partiel. So the Swiss government introduced at the beginning of the reduced working time scheme, a simplified version of the scheme, which meant that we didn't have to go to each individual employee and ask them to validate the number of hours that they had had on the reduced working time scheme during the month. So that was great for us at the beginning. However, in July 2021, the government decided that the standard rules of the scheme should be applied. So in the standard procedure, each employee has to validate the number of hours when they didn't work by signing a document. The document needed to include specific personal data such as um, name, um, insurance number and obviously the hours that they haven't worked. So if we can have a look at the requirements. So my challenge um, in HR was obviously first of all to understand how I was going to collect all of the data from our systems. So that was number one. Then number two was to understand how we could transform that data into a document which was acceptable to the authorities with a legal signature. Then the third challenge was how do I get that doc document to our employees who at this stage in time were spread out across Europe. They didn't always have access to a computer. And at the same time, the process needed to be incredibly simple. And at the end, I needed to be able to recuperate the documents in order to be able to apply for the reduced working time scheme and obviously have the documents available for future audits. So, as I said, we have been a customer of Scribble for a long time. So that's when the idea started to bubble in my very non-technical brain. Why don't I ask Scribble if they can help us out with an electronic signature um, solution? So I'll now, now pass over to Katina from Scribble, who will provide you with more information about their services. Over to you, Katina. Thank you, Sarah. So Sarah approached us with the question and the question was obvious. Could Scribble's e-signature also be used by all Swiss EasyJet employees in a user-friendly way. 
the simple answer is yes, it can. Scribble offers the possibility to electronically sign documents by flexible integrating Scribble into digital workflows with related solutions like Docs42, SAP, MS Teams. Scribble was founded in 2018 and provides the legally suitable electronic signature for any type of contract. The basis is formed by legally regulated standards, including the qualified electronic signature. The only form of electronic signature that is legally equivalent to the handwritten signature according to the EU, UK and Swiss law. Scribble can also be quickly set up for a wide range of use cases and can be easily integrated into your existing systems. In line with our proposition, Scribble is easy to use and you can sign from anywhere. The challenge which EasyChat Switzerland encountered was how to upload approximately 900 documents per month, all of which contain different individual personal information and get them to the employees in an automated way. And um, this is where the automated tool of Docs42 comes into play. Yes, and Thanks, Katina. Um, so I think the the challenge or what we have so far is there is a lot of documents, a lot of employees. There is already an option to sign here, but the missing link in this case, how do we get 900 contracts automated at once and send them to everybody um, so they can do, as Katina said, um, sign them without their accounts on their phones or whatever they want to use. And in this case, it's when we got into the whole project, um, so Docs42 is a software for document automation and data integration, as you see on this one here. Um, today, we will focus on, on this case um, where we see that this is based on um, what Louis will show later on. Um, you can do much more with it as well. So the thing that I, um, if I can do a wish, uh, ask you to remember for today is that Docs42 is where we call ourselves a Lego or kind of a, we usually bring you to events Legos. And that's um, mainly because of the reason, because we see ourselves as the Lego stone of document automation. So we can attach to a lot of systems where we can get the data from. We can generate the document based on a lot of conditions, based on complex integrations. We have images, barcodes, et cetera. And we can also output to a lot of different options. So kind of the, remember the, the Lego stone of document automation. Um, and as it says here, our part in this whole project was that the challenge of the 900 employees, you wanted to have one template that would showcase the, the contract in this case, and that would be then the base to be sent out to everybody. So far, we have the requirements that Sarah has shown us. We have a signature service that is um, available for the whole signature. We have a product also for document automation. The last missing link, it's just one person that combines all of this um, into a project that makes it the one that is going to be successful. And for this, Louis, stage is yours. Yeah, thank you. Um, as it was said, um, <clears throat> we had some documents. We had uh, the need to, to sign them. And uh, we wanted to, to allow uh, EasyJet HR team to do it very, very fast and very, very simple. So um, Scribble, what uh, Katiza, Katina doesn't said is that uh, Scribble provide uh, an API and um, what uh, <coughs> Johannes didn't said is that Docs42 allows um, some extensions uh, to um, to do some output. So the idea was to use the uh, Scribble API through um, a custom extension of the of the Docs42 server and um, send out uh, each uh, individual document to Scribble and let Scribble um, get back the, um, the signature. 
So um, we said that the that this was a success story in 10 days. So for project management purposes, um, we, what we did is to to launch the the project uh, on day one, um, and then we we met all together uh, with Sarah's team also. Uh, to define what are the project goals and what are the key milestones. Then um, we decided to, to work on both uh, axes, legal aspects, validate that the, the, the signature level will be accepted by the authorities and uh, with the, um, the business analysis team uh, to identify all the data we need, uh, check if uh, it is um, normal to to get the data to structure them to be usable by um, a docs 42 template then we within two days we we developed and we elaborate the, the template we we put all the data within it and we um, um, installed the um, easyjet docs 42 server instance uh, in the cloud because we we use it in the cloud. Then we use the um, EasyJet's HR team to um, unit test uh, the process. So we we put only <clears throat> two or three lines in the in the in the Excel sheet. We we tried and we we validated that okay everything is okay. The, um, the employee can validate uh, its hours. Um, it can uh, sign without uh, signing up uh, into Scribble, etc. And at the end, we were able to, to deploy and to send out the first uh, 1000 uh, document batch uh, within the 10th day. At the end of the process, um, the HR team has a, a very simple process so they have to prepare and uh, structure the data uh, in an excel spreadsheet then this spreadsheet is sent to the docs 42 server instance uh, with the appropriate parameters to let the the server know what it has to do with it um, at the end of the generation the docs 42 server uses the uh, custom output action to send each document to scribble then in the background scribble will notify the end users and retrieves the e-signature and at the end of the process um, the hr team just has to run uh, a script to get back all the signed documents within the batch So um, we have prepared a, a little demo. Um, this is a, a video, and um, so you can see the first uh, part of the of the project was to define the structure of the of the data to be sure that we can have all of the data within the within the spreadsheet, and um, it was a job that we that we did with Sarah's team. Then we, we took the um, um, a static version of the document and we identified within it the, um, the different placeholders where the data has to be replaced from data coming from the Excel uh, file. When this is done, we had to to define where we want to to place the the signature at the at the end of the of the process so we have all the all the columns so some dates some codes some um periods some names etc we we know we knew that we have some um conditional data to, to provide so you can see here all the all the columns from the excel sheet and we uh, prepared the uh, template uh, as you see within uh, microsoft word 
So we had the capabilities to define some uh, field formatter, so you can define that this date uh, is represented by uh, this uh, string. Um, you can do the same for um, the number as well. Um, and after that, we can uh, drag and drop the, the different columns from our um, Excel spreadsheet to put it at the right place in the in the document so as you can see it's very easy to to get the, the data from from the document so one of the of the point of doc 42 is that there is some capabilities to to generate din dynamically the um, the table or to dynamically um, hide some lines uh, or columns and you can define uh, these conditions uh, within the, the button automate range and you have um, just the condition to to set um, line per line if you want or block per block uh, if it's needed when all the conditions are set we are able to, to test the, the generation um, directly uh, within Word and to, to check the, the result. So as you can see, I didn't have the, the, right, um, the right format for the period. So I wanted to adjust it. And then I'm able to generate one document and check if the result is comp compliant to the result uh, I expect for all of my employees. When it's done, I have the opportunity to, to test within the Docs42 server with the Docs42 server designer, which is a tool which allows us to um, generate and prepare the call. As you can see, we defined some parameters. What is the what is the the signer email the signer first name last name and it allows us to to prepare and to to define uh, some um, required fields for the um, call to the um, scribble api when the when the call is successful uh, immediately the the people will receive an email uh, with an invitation to, to sign the document and the only thing that the people has to, to do is to click on the button, check the document, read it and after read just click on the sign now button. When it's done it has to approve the Scribble conditions, and you can show directly the uh, the signed document, and you can see in the right on that the signature request is completed, and the observer um, is notified that okay, the document has been signed. So Sarah's team re um, receive um, a confirmation as each individual assign the document so on the left you can see the the document the the template and on the right you can see the result after the uh, the document generation so after this the only questions are sarah have all the objectives been achieved and are you satisfied with the results of this project? Thank you, Louis-Marie. We are definitely satisfied with the results of this project. And if we look at it, you know, I think it's pretty amazing in a virtual world because, you know, remember at the time we were, we were still in, um, in um, a world where we weren't meeting together. And as Johannes said at the start of this um, webinar, 
Um, the collaboration was between Switzerland uh, and between Austria. So it really was um, a virtual project that went on. And I think that, you know, as Mar Louis Marie has just shown you, the result was amazing. From the first discussion that I had with Katina from the Scribble team until we sent out the first documents, it was 10 days. I think that's a pretty amazing um, success. Um, you know, you can see from, from the slide here, every month we generated approximately 950 documents, which were all individual with personal information. Um, our employees loved the system because they found it very easy. They found it very simple. They could um, validate their, their um, hours on their mobile phone. You know, um, some some of our employees start very early in the morning or finish very late in the evening. It was very, very simple for them. And also what they liked about the system was that they could download a copy of the document for their own personal records. So also for us, from an HR perspective, it didn't mean that we needed to send a copy to the employees either, which was fantastic. Um, I can only say my warmest thanks to the whole team. Um, the collaboration that there was between Scribble, between Docs42, uh, me and my team was outstanding. They really understood um, our, our problem and they really helped us to find the solutions to make what was for me a massive HR headache into a fantastic success story. So my thanks go out to all of the teams at Docs42 and at Scribble, and also to Louis Marie, who really play, played a major role in making this story a success. So thanks to everybody. Thank you much. Thank you very much, Sarah, for your words. It's also amazing what uh, what what happened here in the use case, uh, and I can imagine it was a quite difficult time for you. As uh, EasyJet uh, Switzerland is a happy customer, I would like to present you other uh, happy customers, you, uh, use cases from other happy customers in many industries, from construction to production, insurance to financial services, and. Uh, I'd like to present you three use cases. The first one is uh, Vinka Asa, who manages around 230,000 rental objects in Switzerland. And with Scribble, they digitalized contracts. For example, uh, can a, uh, a tenant create a rental contract for a parking lot directly from the website? and complete and sign the legally binding contract with Scribble within minutes. Another use case is DATEV, a technical information services provider for tax accountant and attorney with more than 7,000 employees in Germany. <clears throat> they sign supplier contracts and integrated the flow into their contract management system, iCertis. Thanks to Scribble, they have uh, data protection, uh, easy user interface, and can invite external signers, which can sign user-friendly without having to create a Scribble account. And the third use case is uh, Mobiliar. Mobiliar is the oldest insurance and pension company in Switzerland and uh, insures every third household and every third company in Switzerland. Their requirement was the data hosted exclusively in Switzerland, a high compliance and uh, security, and a simple to use tool who can replace a handwritten signature. They use Scribble, for example, for their IT procurement, where Scribble has been integrated into Fabasoft, uh, contract management software. They sign purchasing contracts with external partners and services in a quick and audit-proof manner.
Thank you, Katina. Um, then last but not least, I would just like to introduce to you also some use cases of Docs for two. And as Katina um, has already shown in her examples, I think the the process of a, well, generally a business process at some point requires documents. And like we saw today, they require documents also that also they need to be signed at some point. But so the step before in terms of the documents, like we've seen with um, with the live demo, uh, where Louis has shown how to drag and drop fields into a document, that is a very, very frequent challenge that we see from nowadays businesses that, um, first of all, of course, you have your systems, it might be your CRM, it might be your ERP, it might be an HR software, and each of them have their own application for document automation. And our approach in this case would be to be able to integrate a lot of different data sources to output to a lot of different options, like we've seen today with Scribble. Um, and at the end of the day, this is then a slim and easy digital process where the document is no hassle for the user. Because at the end of the day, if you consider, for example, um, the, the ones that you see on the right, contracts, offers, quotes, legal documents, proposals, emails that go out right away, it's usually business units that generate those documents and it takes them in many cases a lot of time, first option, or if they are done programmatically, then it's usually quite a pain to have the actual business requirements on the document if they are designed by IT. And that gap we try to fill, so you have the easy design in Office, as you've seen, and you have a lot of different data sources that you can integrate based on your architecture, more from a technical perspective, and from the business perspective, uh, you saw you see some some example of reference cases that we see down below. The good news is Docs42 is used across all industries because, of course, business processes require documents. Most of them are done digitally, so the document process will be within a digital process that at some point would be a communication, for example, to a customer if you consider quotes, invoices, or any outgoing documents. And they are easy to maintain, uh, they are easy to adjust, and they are also to integrate into a lot of different data sources. And that is one of the biggest points that Docs42 can offer. It's not going to be another island application. It's going to be one document generation tool that you can use across all your platforms. Good. You have seen quite a lot of, or you heard quite a lot of us today. Um, we'd like to give the word back to you. So jumping into the questions and answers, um, if I look into this direction, I see on my second screen, and I'm happy to look into the chat for the questions. So feel free to ask any. We can also do some sharing on this one. Um, and I'm just checking if already there are some coming in. All right, uh, the first one that I see Sarah probably addressed to you would be, um, so we've seen all of this today in terms of the, the requirements for COVID. Do you see potential beyond? I certainly do. I think that, um, you know, as you've just said, Johannes, um, using Docs42 and, you know, potentially Scribble as well together can save so much time. Um, instead of having, you know, your HR team generate 50 documents, print them all out, have them signed and then send them to to uh, future employees. You know, this is there's definitely a digital solution um, as as has been described. And I think that there's potential for for so many more things. Uh, you know, looking at the the new working world where people are, are working more from home. Um, there's a lot of remote working going on. I think that this is the tools that we've we've used um, in this in this project are definitely tools that we're going to be able to use again in the future for for many other things. Yeah, and I think one thing that you mentioned also in the beginning is, is I think one of probably the most integral parts of, of any IT project is that you said the users loved to use it because it made the Absolutely. made it easier for them. Yeah. And I, I hope we were able to show to you today that I think I 100% agree. At the end of the day, a project is then successful if the users are happy to, to use it. And uh, yeah, by the way, thanks, Sarah, also for thanking us. But thanks to you and the team as well 
Um, I think the, the way from a project management perspective, you brought this into the organization and included the right people at the right time. Um, it's, it's also a very much best practice from, from what I know. It was a real pleasure. And I think, you know, going back to what you were saying about employee satisfaction, obviously at EasyJet, that's something that we measure um, regularly. And, uh, you know, this, this could have been an extremely complex process, but thanks to the collaboration of everybody and the quick thinking um, solutions that were found, we managed to turn something which could have been very negative into something that was very positive. Mm. Thank you. All right, just checking if there are more questions. Okay, there is a question um, about a, a potential integration or if you could try this. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, Katina, I hope I'm speaking for you too. Uh, you can do a trial of Docs42, um, so that will be an easy one to do. And if you want just to test this, um, either you contact us um, and we can include Louis, for example, to, to help you with, with the first setup in this. But certainly there's options for trials. All right, just waiting for new questions to pop in. Maybe from uh, Scribble side, um, um, happy if you do a 30-day trial, you can go to our website and do a 30-day trial. You can also um, have an, a demo API key, create a demo API key and test. Uh, you have 50 signatures included, so you can sign your first documents electronically. Thank you. One more question just came in um, about the flexibility of the design. Uh, Louis, you, you showed this in, in terms of the add-ins. Um, and the, the question is, is like in, in the current project, do you also see that you can train the people to, to design the documents or is that something that, it's, that, that, that a service provider needs to do? In this project, with the with the delays we we had and the and the, and the milestones, we um, I was the the one we 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 did the the templating, but um, we we did this with uh, with Anthony from Sarah's team, and um, and I, I I trained him to to let let him improve the, the document if he wants. So he, he is absolutely um, capable to, to do it. Um, but <clears throat> if you are uh, in the hurry, you, you want to, to take the experience for, uh, that, we, that we can provide to the, to the customer, but uh, it's a, a, simple, a simple solution. Um, directly integrated within Word, so um, when people from the marketing of the of from the from the HR um, has the ability to to improve the the model. I think if I could just add that that was something that was really positive as well because sometimes when you work on on projects like this. Um, you know you're a little bit um, trapped by them whereby um, you don't you're not given any flexibility or any freedom to adapt the the templates and that was you know a fantastic um, advantage of working together um, with Louis and Marie and Docs42 um, that we had the flexibility also to uh, alter the templates uh, without always having to go back to Louis Marie or Docs42 and you know ask them to make changes for us. So that was a real positive for us as well. Thank you, Sarah. All right, I'm just checking that at the moment there are no more questions. So last chance if anybody wants to ask something still. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, um, if you have any other questions, we will show you the contacts um, in, in a second anyway. Um, just one last time, so the, the collaboration at a glance. Um, here you see what Sarah has already told you, that um, the benefits of this whole integration. On the right-hand side, you can try it yourself. So if you use your phones, and just I might even try it myself now, 
scan the QR code, you will be led to a very simple site that will just allow you to put in some information yourself and generate a contract yourself that will then be signed um, and well, you will give it, get it into the inbox um, of the email you provide in this very one. So I'm just leaving this there for another one or two seconds. Um, it's probably the right time for me also to thank everybody. Um, it's been great also to prepare this webinar. It's always great fun to do an international collaboration, which we, I think, achieved in this one. So thanks again for all your contributions to today's webinar. Um, it was great fun to prepare it with you. And if there is any more questions, um, here you have the contacts, both of Katina from Scribble, as well as us and me from, from Dux42. And of course, if there are any requirements where we can include Louis, or maybe there's even some questions we need to ask Sarah, um, we will reach out. And just checking one last time if there is anything else that we can address today. Doesn't look like it. So very, very much. Thank you also to everybody who joined the webinar today. I hope you got what you expected. Um, want to thank, of course, everybody of the speakers again and hope you have a very, very pleasant day today. Um, we, we discussed before the webinar today, tomorrow will be a public holiday in Austria. Um, so I hope you are in one of the countries where you might have a day off, if not um, already another great days in the week. And looking forward to see you soon. Bye, everyone. Thank bye. you from bye our bye side. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.